Greetings, Timeshare Travelers. This is the Timeshare Traveler, and today's episode is discussing Hilton Grand Vacations purchase of Diamond Resort. What does it mean? So I'll be talking to a panel. I had a panel of experts that I sent several quotes to, and um, I got their opinions, plus I have my own um, experience. I think it's a great thing for those of us who are Hilton Grand Vacation owners. Before I get into that, let me tell you a little about my channel, then I'll dive right in. Hi, this is Cliff, and I'm your Timeshare Traveler. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel is improving your timeshare travels. I'll do this through timeshare video reviews, tips for using timeshares, and much, much more. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav, Twitter at Timeshare Trav, and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. And if you like my videos, don't forget to click subscribe below. Okay, let's now get into it. Um, talking about Hilton Grand's uh, vacations purchase of Diamond International. Uh, here's some basic facts and sort of opinions in my part. Um, uh, Hilton, complete, Hilton Grand Vacations completed it on August 2nd, uh, 2021. And there are now 154 properties under Hilton Grand Vacations Management. And um, there, Hilton is committed to a multi-year combination of the businesses. Uh, not clear what the integration will have, uh, impact will have, um, but as a Hilton Grand Vacations owner, I'm pretty excited because, um, as I'll show you later in the video, there's a lot of new interesting uh, locations to uh, go to, and potentially the integration, um, and I'll show you the U.S. maps overlapping uh, that. An example for Hawaii, um, Diamond International has opened up resorts um, on Maui, which also Hilton has one opening up later uh, or in 2022, and they but they also have one in Kauai, giving uh, Hilton Grand Vacations a presence on all major Hawaiian islands. And it's pretty much um, at least regionally within the western U.S. and central U.S. and eastern U.S. There's ads um, in a diff all the, all the different regions. So for, again, from a Hilton Grand Vacations owner, I'm excited about uh, opportunities from, for additional. Uh, locations to uh, visit. Uh, in addition to my opinions and my thoughts about uh, and the basic facts, I also reached out to um, other timeshare travelers in uh, timeshare user group that are known as TUG and I kind of asked what, what they thought um, and here's a summary of their comments. Um, a note that these are just educated guesses both on my part and, and by the other people. So there's an expect that in the short term, maybe in 2022, a way to bridge between companies. In other words, they'll have some way that you can sort of, um, similar to what Marriott did, they allowed you to connect through Interval International and there was no transaction fees to, to go between Marriott and Vistana. Um, so potentially something like that will happen where there'd be a way for you to bridge um, your points. Um, Hilton Grand Vacation have to come up with a consistent letter of priorities and for the current location so that owners don't feel like they've lost the priority that they have and the and that goes for both diamond international and hilton grand vacations so have to figure that out um, and again the deal was done because it was felt overall sales would improve because of more options and i i think there's been some consolidation again with marriott and vistana so i think there's some uh, valid points that this is somewhat driven by sales opportunities um, and again, I think the hardest thing is going to be what's going to be the uh, common exchange as a point system as they uh, move forward. So those are kind of the um, high-level premises that I that uh, picked up from a um, group of people within the Timeshare user group. If you are in the Timeshares, highly recommend you join the group. I asked the Timeshare user group um, what they thought of uh, attending a presentation to learn about the Diamond International just to get a sense of their program to see how it worked. Well, the bottom line was they said, uh, don't do it. Most people said because everything's going to change and most likely the people that you'd be talking to at Diamond International wouldn't know what, they, what the future would hold. Um, some people did think it was a good idea to attend um, just to learn a little bit about the other program and about the other locations. Here's a map of the Hilton Grand Vacations in the United States. What you can see is there's uh, resorts in Hawaii, uh, but most of the ones in the domestic U.S. are kind of on the coast, with the exception of 
uh, one in Utah and one in Colorado. And I'll, I'll now compare that to what Diamond International offers. Here are the resorts for Diamond International. And what you notice is there's quite a few kind of in the uh, New Mexico, uh, Arizona area, as well as a, a slightly different California. There's also some in a different part of Colorado. Um, and there's some in Gatlinburg, T Tennessee, in the middle parts of the country, and in Branson, Missouri. So it's quite a bit different map. Of There is overlap, but there's quite a bit a different map. So, there, so this is a really good thing, I think, for those people who are Hilton Grand Vacation owners. Here's an example of um, how there's some level of overlap and some level of gain um, with the merger of Hilton Grand Vacations and Diamond International. Notice here, this is the Hilton uh, map. There are a bunch on Honolulu and a bunch on the Big Island of Hawaii, and then there's one planned on Maui. Now comparing the Diamond International uh, locations on Hawaii, you'll notice there's one on the island of Kauai and there's another one on the island of Maui. Let's say I have one in Honolulu, but the one in Maui is in a different portion of Maui. So that expands the Hilton Grand Vacations to two different major tourist destinations on the island of Maui. There's a Diamond International the point at Poipu, which is the tourist uh, location on the island of Kauai and it's a wonderful place. I actually was on Kauai and I knew of the merger pending so I walked by the property. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm hoping and looking forward to as a Hilton Grand vacation owner the ability to stay there. Okay here's the Diamond International Resort uh, in Honolulu. It's close to where the other uh, Hilton Grand vacations are. I believe there's a total of seven so it adds one more to that so it gives them greater flexibility and more options for people to be able to stay on the island. Another great addition is the uh, Diamond uh, Resorts in Kanapali Beach, which is another part of Maui. Um, so Hilton will be opening up um, a resort in the town of Kihei, and this gives them two different locations uh, to capture a lot of the market. I'm pretty excited about this opportunity. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of the, the, the impact of the uh, integration. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.